Another lockdown, so I thought I'm gonna make a quick video about what you could do if you are kind of short of equipment available to you. Don't stress out and I would definitely not suggest to jump into dieting and let's get shredded because a lot of people do that unless you have had good three to six solid months of trying to build strength and size to begin with because if you only had a month or two of trying to get your body weight up, lean, increasing your lean muscle mass, most likely your muscle mass is not mature enough to start dieting and you're just going to lose everything. It's just pointless. I'm not going to go into details of what, how and why, but just, just understand if you have not periodized your training around through, through the year and at this point you probably had a month or maybe just two of trying to gain lean muscle mass, don't jump onto dieting straight away you're just gonna lose everything. You, you're just mincing yourself in, and you're not gonna make any progress whatsoever by doing that. First, what you need to understand is that anabolism, building tissue is catabolic process. So what I mean by that is to build tissue, you need to break something down, create energy from that, then take those building materials, extra energy and create new tissue. So that's extremely energy demanding process. Now you have that extra energy to grow faster, but you probably don't have equipment available for you to train hard enough to kind of trigger that muscle growth. So maintenance at this point should be extremely easy. You need to eat less to maintain same body weight, same muscle mass, and you need to train far less just to maintain the muscle mass you already have. So this would be the smartest option at the moment. And next thing is developing new skills. So you're not training hard as the way you used to. That means your recovery demands are, are nowhere near as high as they have been before. That means you have some energy left to develop some new skills, uh, some body weight training, which is extremely important that people are still sick to just go in the gym, lift some weights and go home. And then I have messages, oh, how my shoulder is aching, my knee is aching, my this, my that. You will never need physios if you look after yourself to begin with. It, it, it's just a tough approach. So body weight exercises are extremely important for overall progress. You want it or not. No one gives a fuck how much you can deadlift if you can't tie your own shoelaces. You're only doing it for Instagram and, and that's it for two minute fame. It, thing is, when you start improving your body weight and core stuff, you actually get much stronger, much quicker. And by not doing these little things, you're holding yourself back. You, uh, and all just, just to look good. Makes no sense, does it? The last thing is improving your energy systems. What I mean by that is, like I said, anabolism is catabolic. So you need a lot of energy to create tissue and a lot of nutrients and all those kind of things. But if you can't access that energy quick enough, you are just holding yourself back from progressing. This is why I ask everyone to, to do their fitness stuff, to, to do their walks, to do some monkey bits, all those kind of things that challenge you, your body to be able to tap into your energy reserves quicker so you can start rebuilding. You can train harder and you can start rebuilding yourself, recover yourself much quicker than anyone else. So if you nail the three in a lockdown, focus on maintaining what you have. Don't jump straight onto dieting unless you already had some good six months run into building up tissue, building up strength. Then dieting might be great for you. Otherwise, don't fucking bother. Second is developing new skills. Do, do something new. Like you won't be able to train as hard, you will do your resistance bands and whatnot just to maintain your body weight, maintain your muscle mass, but now you have extra time, extra energy to do something else, to learn something else. Um, simple stuff is like j just plank. How many of you do that? Not many, I can guarantee that. And that one little thing can transform your ability to create force in gym when you go back and your progress will just skyrocket. That's why so many people I train get, get strong so quick because I'm not bothered about how much they can lift. I'm more bothered about how well they can control their own body to begin with. And last, you can never be too fit. You just can't, it's, it's, it's impossible. When you look on all the strongest, biggest guys and you look on their history, every single one of them had extremely good fitness base to begin with. Dorian Yates, Eddie Hall, Thor, uh, Martin Schlitz is, those are just strong men to lift like. And when you go into bodybuilding, you, you like Ronnie Coleman, even playing football, Phil Heath, nearly getting an NBA, all those kind of things are important. Nail Z3, and you'll thank me for it later. Hope it helps.